what is business blueprint phase so before implementation of sap when they were using legacy systems how the business process is or business process was so that document will be prepared by the end user team that are we can call them as a core team members core team members so that is nothing we call it as an as is document and same time one more document after that document will be given to us as in the sense consulting team so we will go through that document completely and we will prepare one more document as a consultant we will prepare one more document in that we will mention that after implementation of sap how the processes looks after implementation of sap how the process the existing process how it's going to be look so that document is considered as a to be document to be document or we can call it as an fsbp document future state of business process future state of business process so what are the things it contains future state of business process one is the configuration plus developments as we know that configuration and customization the difference between configuration and customization right so those thing will be mentioned in to be document okay and the final document will be prepared in business blueprint phase is bvp that is business blueprint document this is a phase and there is a business blueprint document right so this is a final document which contains as is document details to be document details and gaps right what are the customization developments okay on these documents are prepared the consultant once these documents are prepared then the consultant team will send to ctms nothing but end user team it will send so once end user team verify and approves clear once this is everything is okay for ctm members then functional consultants need to so the same thing what we discussed yesterday okay then these documents will be forwarded to business process owner the head of the organization what we took ready labs ready labs owner we will send these documents right bbp document so the bpo may come up with different queries okay we need to satisfy him and once he accepts the uh, uh, once he accepts and approve to proceed further okay so this is business blueprint phase will complete and the signing process will come after business blueprint phase what is the signing process once the business owner accept then the consultant will take it will take the hard copy means we need to take the hard copy of business blueprint document and will take the signatures different signatures there are total five signing processes that is nothing but we will take first signature from the head of the organization or biz business process owner that from ready labs right so we will take first signature so signature one will be done by bpo business process owner next one second signature once the bpo send the uh, done the second first signature then it will be uh, it has to be signed by the ctms from end user side the team who have involved in the project team they have to uh, everyone has to sign in this particular document that is nothing but ctm signature and we call that it as a second signature signature 2 once the ctms are signed then the project manager from implementation side right implementation is nothing but to whom we are doing the implementation end user that is nothing but ready labs so the project manager or we can call it as a product owner clear project manager or a product owner from implementation side he has to sign and that signature is considered as a third signature 3 signature 3 and once signature 3 is completed then project manager from development partner development partner is nothing but our consults project manager that is nothing but infosys project manager has to sign that particular document right that is called signature 4 and last but not least last but not least the ctms need to sign the document the c at the last sorry consultants need to sign the document last we will do we will do the signature process
clear so that is considered as an signing process the complete process we call it as a signing process so any questions on this any questions regarding the signing process uh, yeah uh, just to wanted to understand that this is the uh, procurement team will come up with this one right not procurement team not only procurement team the complete uh, consultants see as per the department wise okay do, do we also need to uh, sign nda on this no right no okay yeah. okay so after okay. this the real realization phase will come into the picture means the third phase okay project preparation phase business blueprint phase and the real realization means as a consultant we, till now we will discuss as i said 30% work or 30% time we are going to spend in preparation of these documents business in the project implementation project 30% of time we are going to spend on preparation of these documents so once it's done then we will till now we won't touch any sap or server nor system only the documentation preparation will be done okay so here the realization phase or phase will come into the picture means actual sap we are going to touch in this particular phase so any project yesterday we discussed any project we will have three servers any project you can take any project either that could be implementation project or support project or rollout project enhancement project or upgradation project or any other testing projects so three servers minimum three servers are mandatory and again again i am telling you it's not it's a minimum maximum it depends upon the business development server already we discussed but still i'll give you a recap development server quality server next one production server production server okay three servers are mandatory in any sap project okay okay in this server we will have different clients we are going to do in depth the discussion on client okay so here for example yesterday we took client what is a client here for example in one particular server we will save some sort of data like master data we will save transactional data we will save and user data for example if you are getting for example if i take p45 system so p45 system is assigned to one particular client number in sap in real time as we discussed client means a customer client means a customer but in sap client means client in sap the term client is different when it uh, compared to real time client is a independent entity independent entity what do you mean an entity we will discuss okay so here client in sap environment client means a three digit code sap in sap client means three digit code but what does the three digit code contains what exactly it contains three digit code three digit code contain all the data whatever data we are going to create whatever transactions we are going to create right so for example master data transactional data your tax data right what that all comes under master data only and same time user data user data in the sense for example you are getting access to one particular environment one particular system if i take a uh, one particular uh, system called p45 okay or n45 or sn2 system so each and every system they will define for development server they will give some names uh, as per the client requirement but each system will have number of client in sap server we can have any server we can have any number of clients any number of clients it's not restricted that we will have only one client in one server no we can have as many clients as we required the client required clear 
So that is three digit code. So what I, here I have mentioned here, see here. So what are the client contents? For example, if I take client number 100, so what does it will contain? Or 200, uh, 110, I have taken client contents 110. So what are the things it will contain? User master. Okay, means our user records, means our, what, the, what, what are the authorizations we have? For example, I'm an associate. So definitely I will have only invoice posting authorization, right? Next level, a team lead who is having access to this particular system or a client. Then for example, apart from associate, he will have an extra accesses. So everything will be configured in this particular, will be maintained under this particular client. That data, we call it as a user master data. From associate to whoever are involved in approval, so all the user's data will be maintained under this particular client. Clear? Next one, customization. As I said that, is if some processes we are not able to map with SAP standard, we need to do customization, right? So what are the programs developed by? Programs developed by ABAP consultant, okay, ABAPR. Then that particular data will be maintained under this particular client okay or system okay client dependent customizing data as i said that this particular client dependent in the sense customer dependent data because that particular process is applicable only for ready labs not for others clear that particular data will be stored under this particular client next one application data Application data is nothing but once you are using FI application, FI transactions, finance module, right? So what are the data will be there in FI masters? Your GL master data, vendor master data, customer master data, bank master data, tax master data, right? So all those will be stored under this particular client, right? And not only master data, transactional data also whatever transactions we will do, whatever entries we will post, all those stuff will be saved under this particular client. Clear? In SAP, client means three digit code, right? It will start from triple zero and ends with triple nine. Any questions here? Okay. So here, for example, I have taken yesterday development server. We have client number 100, any number we can take. Okay, we call this as a client. A. See, in real time, that could be anything. Sandbox client. Okay, sandbox client. And one more client we have designed yesterday, 110. Okay, so configuration client. This is the real time. Here, this will this this sandbox client is nothing but practice for practice purpose. Okay, we'll call it as an configuration client. The real configuration we'll do here, and we'll call it as a golden client also. Okay, next one. Next one. One twenty. We have object development client. Here we will do the customization part. Object development client. Okay. Next one. Last but not least, one thirty. We have development client. means all the testings will be done whatever configuration client we have configured and whatever objects development has developed all those will be done before sending to quality server the data okay so this will be performed in this particular client so you can see here Clear development test client. Development test client. 
So here, so what is sandbox client? We will do only for before configuration, we will do some sort of testing. And here the transportation will not be done. Okay. So everything is fine. We are perfect now in the practice part. Then that will, then we will start our real time configuration here, right? Whatever configurations we have done, we have done. Okay. As I said that out of 80 business processes, we are able to configure 71 processes, for example. So that will be configuration here and nine business processes, nine businesses processes. We are not able to configure with SAP standard. Then what we will do, we will send it to a vapor. And what, so here, what this, uh, this is completely for a vapor client. And this is for functional consultant, FI on MM or HD HR consultant. Okay. Here he will develop, he will develop as per the requirement of client customized. Okay. Once these are customized, both the data will be sent to development configuration client means the development testing client means whether the end to end process are working perfectly or not, whatever configured and whatever customized, right? So here again, so everything will be saved. Yesterday we discussed whatever data we have saved that will be stored under one transport request, one transport request, right? So that transport request will be sent from configuration client to development testing client. And this is done by functional consultant. Okay. And whatever object developments are developed, that particular data will be sent from object development client to development testing client by ABAPR. By ABAPR. So this particular part we will do configuration client to development client. That is nothing but functional consultant. That is our job. Transport request need to be moved from configuration client to development test client and whatever objects are developed by ABAPR, that particular data has to move by ABAPR from this particular client to development test client. And here in sandbox client, whatever data it is not, no transport request will be generated. It is only for practice purpose. Clear any questions on this? Any questions here? Okay, so for example, in quality assurance, we will do, we will give one client number that is 200 client. I'm giving any number, right? So in real time, it could be anything, 200. So here we will do quality assurance testing. Quality assurance test client. Quality assurance here we will do testing. So whatever data development server, it has moved. So this will be tested by so this will be tested by So who will test this? Tested by CTMs. Tested by Okay, tested by CTMs. Who will test with real data? real data who will do okay so how it will be copied so whatever configuration steps we have done in development server that will be copied from configuration client to quality server okay and next and whatever objects are developed, whatever objects are developed, that will also copied from 
ऑब्जेक्ट डेवलपमेंट क्लाइंट टू क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस क्लियर सो हियर वंस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वंस द कॉन्फिगरेशन okay whatever configurations we have developed configurations we have done that particular transport request will be transferred from configuration client that is from development server configuration client to to quality server client 200 that is nothing but quality assurance test client and same time whatever adapter has developed object developments okay that is nothing but customized that particular data will also transported from development server client object development to to quality server qa test client clear and here within server as a so here from development whatever data we are transferring from within a server whatever data we are transferring from one client to another client that will be performed by functional consultant and abapers but once if data move data need to be moved from one server to another server from one server to another server not within server it is data need to move from one server to another server then the basis consultant will pitch in we know that who is a basis consultant right who is a taking care of complete hardware and networking right access creations and all those stuff that particular consultant basis consultant will transport the data from one server to another server remember this so have you ever made a transportation from one server to another server interview question to pull our legs right one server to another server data movement is not our job it's not our responsibility that will be taken care by basis consultant and what is a functional consultant responsibility within a server if data wants to move from one client to another client then as a functional consultant we will do that within a server from one client to another client clear any questions clear any questions this is a basis activity any questions over here because need to understand this concept so here we will start different testings from here one is okay so we have done everything here so different testings will be performed here so here it is we will do unit testing unit testing or we can call it as an module test module wise test fi module fm module right module test module wise okay we will do unit testing okay what is mean by unit testing or module wise testing in the sense so separately we will test end to end process of finance end to end process testing of mm individually so whether mm scenarios are working perfectly or not finance scenarios are working perfectly or not sd modules are perfecting or not ewm modules are working perfectly or not those scenarios so here as i said that the testing project the testing project will take place here so for example if you are working as a test consultant right testing pro you are in testing project and you are taking a test consultant in the sense what we need to do is we need to take for example fi consultant okay then they have given post vendor outgoing incoming invoice okay and they will give the data like when uh, customer vendor number amounts and all those stuff so what we need to do first 
we need to document we need to prepare a documentation we need to prepare a documentation what is a company code what is a vendor number right and what is the output end to end testing whether is it perf performing or not next one customer in the same uh, uh, fi module we need to check customer outgoing invoice customer outgoing invoice same time we need to take the details of customers and amounts and all we need to test it if it is working perfectly next for example we need to do a uh, vendor outgoing payment process so we need to do manual outgoing we need to do automatic payment process we need to and each and everything we need to document we need to document here so independently we need to do module wise we need to do module wise finance module so all the finance consultant will do this putting test one particular testing related to only finance related and mm consultant will also involve and they will check mm process from plant maintenance to creation of purchase order so whatever sequence is there that they will prepare same thing uh, sd module consultants next one ewm consultants eam consultants everyone will do their respective department testing module testing clear yeah. so that is called unit testing don't forget what do you mean by unit testing unit testing is nothing but departmental testing or department wise setup okay any questions here no no will is this like a usat testing sorry is this like you usat usat testing user acceptance yes no no it's not user acceptances that is uh, separate testing user acceptance testing is nothing but a document actually okay. user acceptance testing in the sense once all the integration testings unit testings are done then as a end user you will say that everything is working fine means you are accepting that the complete configuration complete customization is working perfectly that is called user acceptance testing but that is not a testing that is a documentation okay clear yes next one integration next one integration testing integration testing integration testing one right what do you mean integration testing see what the process will start from one module ends in another module if you say procure to pay module procure to pay right procurement comes under a mm module and payment invoice receipt right punching of invoice in the system as per the due date it needs to be paid clear so that particular activity and that particular activity comes under finance module so here we need to link both the models because the configuration first mm module is done and after that we have done fi module so both are independent as of now so what we need to do we need to link both the modules we need to integrate linking different modules is nothing but an integration module so how we are going to integrate that we will see in our real time so all the sub modules of fi we need to integrate and same time different modules are there so that's the reason as i said in our course we are not only restricted to learn fi and co on ecs and s4 ana we are going to learn a 15 to 20% of mm we are going to learn 15 to 20% of pm plant maintenance we are going to learn 15 to 20% of sd 15 to 20% of production and plant means in the market whatever see if majority market it's going to come for up after finance the majority market is uh, going to open for plant maintenance pm module clear so now we are calling it as an one more module called ewm module extended warehouse management module so all those stuff we are going to see in this particular course so that's the reason we are going to do all the integrations here clear any questions here it starts with one module and ending with another module so testing one module to another module so that is called integration 
testing module. Okay, next we will do. Next we will do integration. Integration. Integration testing two. So what is this? So here in this particular testing, we are not only do the standard scenarios testing. Okay, here. So means whatever configured standard scenarios plus developments. Means whatever customized, whatever uh, Avapar has developed, those things will be tested. Right here, we will prepare a document. Okay. So last but not least. So here, once the CTMs are tested, everything. Once CTMs are tested. Then we will prepare, as you asked, we will prepare one document. Okay. One document that is called user acceptance test document. Well, it's not a test. Again, I'm reiterating UAT is nothing but user acceptance. Right. Any questions here? So here, in 200 client, we will do different sort of testings. So that is the reason we call it as a quality test client. So who will test this? CTMs will test this. So what are the testings they will do? Module wise testing, integration testing. Okay, and integration testing too, that is nothing but not only standard scenarios. So whatever developments is done by ABAPAs. So the complete testings will be performed here. Next, last, CTMs, okay, if everything is fine, then the uh, CTMs will prepare a document that is called user acceptance test document. Clear? UAT. Okay, next one, we have one more. So, in the same quality, we have, for example, 210 client. Okay. So here we will give whatever scenarios, what after testing trainings will be given in this particular server only clear. The trainings will not be given in development server, nor in quality server. See, as I said that from each department, from each department, there are 20 members are there, but all will not involved in the project team from end user side. Correct. All will not involved in a, a pro, as a project team. So out of 20 members, two members are involved in project team and other 18 are not involved. So here in this particular server after user acceptance to test, okay, after user acceptance to test document is prepared, then the real time trainings will be started to the people who are the team who are not involved from end user side. Okay, that is nothing but we call it as a training one training one. Okay. Right. So who will involved in this particular training? All the end users. All end users and super users. End users will be trained by CTMs. Okay. Uh, again, I'll I'll just like I'll write here. As I said that end users will be trained by the uh, CTMs. Okay. In the same way, super users. will be trained by consultants. So here super users is nothing but next level 
of end users assistant manager team leads or managers right they will have a separate uh, authorizations and all so how to approve payment process how to approve user ac uh, user accesses and all those stuff will be trained to super users by consultants because and end users the trainings will be given by ctms clear Okay. Any questions here? So we have one more client here. We have one more client here. Two twenty client. Two twenty client training two. Training two. So in training two, the trainings will be given to power users. Power users. Who will give this training to power users? Concept. So, who are the power users? High level, okay, high level employees, directors, right? The, who are involved in decision making, okay? And they, we will call them as a power users. Clear? Any questions here? Okay, any questions? So up to here, we will call it as a realization phase. Realization phase. Any questions? So next one would be final preparation phase. Next phase would be so. Okay. So one more server in final preparation. Phase one more server need to be ready. That is nothing but your production server, cust client server. Sorry, uh, end user server. Okay. So here we will call it as an. For example, we will call it as a. We will give a client number as three hundred. Okay. In production server, this is called a realization phase. Till here, so till here it is a realization phase. Okay. Okay. So here we will call it as a pre-production. Okay, just write it down. So here, till here, quality server, we have a realization phase, and this is a final preparation phase. When we need to, when we have moved to final preparation phase, so we need to have one more server called production server. So production server. Is a mandatory. As I said, that three servers are mandatory. So in production server, so here one client is required. Pre-production, pre-production client. So what is what do you mean by pre-production client? Okay. So in pre-production. so before transporting to everything whatever developments object developments and configurations we have done before transporting to production server what we need to do is okay this is live environ production server is nothing but a live environment system 
so we need to do few activities here for example last 5 years i am using some legacy system last 5 years i am using jd edwards or arkel or tally or whatever clear right we have data in that particular uh, what we called for whatever data we are having in legacy system those need to be uploaded those need to be uplo uploaded in our real time environment whatever data is there in our legacy system those need to be uploaded in our pre need to upload it in production server so for that we will create one client okay whatever legacy data is there that will be uploaded in one particular client in production server so that client we are going to call it as a pre production client pre production client so we okay so here we will call it as a legacy legacy data upload legacy data upload okay we will upload legacy data legacy in the sense last 5 years or 10 years we were using different software or different system so there will be a data right transactional data or whatever it is so that particular data is also need for us so that particular data we will upload in pre production server client so but how we can upload there are different tools are there in sap to upload so for example one tool we call it as a lsmw or we can as pdc okay okay so we can use two tools one is lsmw tool or pdc tool so write down what is lsmw write down write down lsmw okay lsmw legacy legacy system migration workbench lsmw stands for legacy system migration workbench legacy system migration workbench workbench okay legacy system migration workbench lsmw this is a tool to upload the data legacy data to sap server bdc stands for bdc stands for batch batch data conversion bdc stands for batch data conversion okay we are going to see lsmw steps okay so here normally whenever the data is small so as a functional consultant we can upload the data through a tool called lsmw tool okay if the data is small very less okay or if the data is huge then this will be taken care by a buffers okay they will write a program to upload the data batch data conversion right to upload the complete data from legacy system to pre production system clear so if it is lsmw means if we are uploading the data to lsmw tool in the sense what is the possibility means which indicates that the data of the Uh, organization is very less okay so we can upload lsmw but if the data is very huge and they are migrating to sap then we can't use lsmw because it's a time taking process it's a time taking process so we will use a tool called bdc tool batch data conversion tool so here batch data conversion tool we can't see because it's not our responsibility okay but what is our responsibility lsmw if it is less then i we are going to see how to do the lsmw how to upload the legacy data to sap pre production 
server let that we are going to see at the end any questions here any questions here so what are the datas we will do normally so what kind of datas we will have so here we will have what are the datas we will have in our legacy systems one is master data master data okay what are the different master datas we may have what are the different master datas we may have gl master gl master gl master vendor master okay customer master customer master okay asset master so customer master asset master okay bank master i'm taking few examples here bank master tax master clear yeah uh, uh let me just yeah, yeah. We, we don't take, we, we will not take material master data in this sorry material master data yes we will take okay yeah all the master datas which are there in our legacy system the complete master datas we will take okay okay so these are the few master datas which i took example so everybody knows what is the difference between a master data and a transactional data master data is nothing but frequently it will not change almost all we can say that one time creation right so that is nothing but a master data transactional data is nothing but it will change frequently right that is considered as a transactional data so for example if i take one example for example if i take we have a okay so we have created uh, there are total 10500 gls are there in arkel for example our customer was using 10500 gls in in existing legacy system total 10500 gls are they are using it out of 10500 100 gls are dedicated for arkel clear there are some clearing accounts and all those stuff which are specifically these 100 gl accounts only related to arkel clear so which is not required in sap right so here out of 10500 these 100 gl accounts are required only for arkel okay and out of 10500 100 gl accounts are related to only arkel usage and they have created one more for example out of 10500 gls out of 10500 100 are dedicatedly they are using for arkel and 50 gls they are not at all using it they are not at all using these gls okay 
out of 10,500 GLs, well, sorry, this is a problem with the word. Okay, 50 GLs they are not using at all. Right? They have created GLs of 50. Okay, these GLs need to be eliminated. Whatever GLs we are not currently, we are not using, that has to be eliminated. Okay. Okay, so what are the things we will upload? Filter data, okay, validated data, and verified data, and approved data. Okay. The, that particular data will be uploaded to production server. Okay, understood what I'm saying? So what 10,500 GLs do we require to upload, right? So here we will first verify what are the GLs are dedicated only for RKL, right? And after that, what are the GLs they are using and which are not using, okay? Which are need to be eliminated from the master data, right? So those GLs we will filter. So 150 GLs we won't take and whatever remain, remaining 10,350 GLs we will upload from legacy data to pre-production data, pre-production server. So what is the data we will send? Verified data, tested data, tested data, verified data, right? And approved data. That we will move to our pre-production server clear and same time and same time we will use we need to approve transactional data also transactional data what do you mean by transactional data So whatever legacy system, whatever legacy system, when we check GL account, so there will be some GL closing balances before moving to SAP. Clear? So in our, right? So that particular closing balances, okay, will become opening balance in SAP system. Right? So that particular data will be moved from legacy system to production system, pre-production system. Right? Same thing. So GL closing balances, GL closing balances, GL closing balances in one system that is legacy system that will become an opening balance for SAP. Okay. And next one we will see vendor, vendor outstanding items. items bill wise means invoice wise vendor outstanding items bill wise okay same customer customer outstanding items bill wise okay next one bank balances bank balances after bank reconciliation statement bank balances after brs next one asset with Asset with APC and accumulated depreciation
depreciation values values asset wise right so here asset with apc and accumulated depreciation what do you mean by apc accumulated and production cost asset accumulation nothing but purchasing okay next one apc p stands for production c stands for cost accumulated production cost so value wise after depreciation what is the value clear acquisition purchasing of an asset or produce it right what is the thing we can either we will manufacture the asset or we will produce the asset so at the time of purchase of an asset what is the cost we have spent at the time of production of raw material to asset what is the cost we have spent and the depreciation what is the depreciation we have calculated there are different depreciation methods are there okay so we are going to see in asset accounting asset maintenance we have one module called eam module separately okay extended asset management okay but in our finance module we are going to see asset accounting complete end to end asset accounting we are going to see clear any questions on over here any questions no admin thank you see here sorry sorry i mean thank you okay. so here once these are moved one more testing will be performed in production system okay regressive testing or regression testing regression testing or regressive i will call it as an yet regressive testing with live data okay what is called regressive testing means let's just write it down so what is regressive testing means see there are we have developed a number of scenarios so out of 100 scenarios we have developed means we have created 100 scenarios so out of 100 scenarios all are not that important critical right so 10 are critical scenarios so what we will do all those critical scenarios one more time we will test in production environment pre production environment so that testing we are going to call it as a regression testing or a regressive testing understood unit testing we know that integration testing we know that there is one more testing will performed by ctms in the pre production uh, server so that is called regressive testing what do you mean by regressive testing testing critical scenarios testing critical scenarios is nothing but a regressive test any question here okay no no so live data we are going to test it critical scenarios we are going to test okay so here so uh, why we will do because the last time before moving everything to production environment so we will check everything is working fine or not so so i am we are creating in production environment we have one more client we will create that is called 400 client this is production server production server okay this is a live environment
So whatever data we have uploaded in product pre-production client, that will be transported to production server, the complete data. Okay. So what, what are the data we will, what is the data we will send in this in the sense, in pre-production server, approved data, approved data plus verified data. As I took example, GL accounts, right? There are 10,500 master datas. In that 100 is dedicated only for Oracle and 50, they are not using it, right? So only the approved data and verified data will be transported to production server. Okay, so one fine day, one fine day, what Ready Labs will do, they will stop the existing uh, system. That is nothing but a tally or Oracle. Now they will move into pitch into the real time SAP environment and end users, whoever end users are there, they will have access to, even though it is in production environment, they will not have access, okay, to whatever client we have created here, 310 client in production environment. Okay, 300 client. So they will all, uh, end users will not have access to that pre-production client. They will have access to all the end users will have access to 400 client. So here we will call it as a go live. Go live. So what do you mean by go live? So go live in the sense stop working on legacy system and they'll start working on SAP system. That is called a go live. Okay, what do you mean by go live? Stop working on legacy systems and start, they'll start, client will start working on the SAP system. That is called go live. Any questions in this particular environment? So, uh, so, 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 I mean, when we go live, uh, do we have a hypercare uh, scenario situation here during go live? To support? Yes, yes, we will have. Okay, hypercare and fallback scenario. Correct, correct. Okay. We will have that. Okay, so, so we need to always have that plan when we go into production, right? Correct. So every project we will have hypercare. Okay. So, so, so sometimes see. Probably what happens is uh, the implementation partner, uh, so development partner would be something different and support partner would be something different. See, the hypercare activities will be performed by the support activity team. Hope you got my point. See here, what, what is the thing is, for example, uh, the client has taken, the client has taken services, implementation things, majority end user level, these things will happen. Majority uh, companies, what they will do is the implementation part they will take from one organization and they will give a maintenance support for two months or three months or six months as per the agreement. Once six months are done, once six months are done, okay, as the agreement finished, what they will do is instead of giving this support project and maintenance project to Infosys, they will give it to some other uh, development partners like uh, Accenture or Vipro or any other company. Yeah, uh, they just want to know any any reason they will give to other party. Pay uh... the cost. Okay. See, I have involved in one particular project here in my current organization where I am doing. Uh, uh, I have not involved in implementation. This particular project was implementation project was performed by Deloitte people. Deloitte. So you can see over across global, most of the implementation projects are with Deloitte, Accenture, okay, Capgemini, Capgemini, and not mostly these two companies, Accenture, okay, uh, what we call it? Uh, this one, Infosys, Accenture, these and Deloitte will have most of the pro these projects are on implementation projects. When it comes to, means I'm saying not 100%, but 70% projects. 
But when it comes to other companies like Wipro or Infosys, Wipro is having only 40% projects on implementation and other 60% projects on support projects are testing projects. So what is the major difference between like Accenture or Delight or whatever it is? So they will charge a little more for support projects and testing projects when compared to Wipro and other companies. So that's the reason what client wants is, okay, even though these people are also, they will do some sort of development, right? So to cut down the cost, what client will do is client will give the support and maintenance project to other IT companies rather than giving it to Deloitte or Accenture. The same thing happened, whatever project I am working here, whatever project I am in. So the implementation was done by Deloitte and all the testings and support is performing by my team. The only thing is understanding between these two and timeliness of uh, handovering the project to client or cost. Third reason. And here, whatever project we are doing here, there was an issue in implementation by the Deloitte because they have not properly implemented the project implementation of whatever client I am doing it. Now, whatever changes we want, we are doing right now that. And hypercare support, again, support and testing project they have given to us and hypercare project they have given to Accenture. So Deloitte was involved. Now there is no Deloitte. Now Wipro is involved and as well as Accenture is also involved in one particular support and testing projects. Clear? Yeah, clear yeah. now. Yeah. Any other questions? So a lot of things will be involved in this. That's the reason uh, we are covering most of the literature part instead of doing practical. Practical, however, we can do it. But this is the thing we need to understand before uh, pitching into the practical part. One more thing is, that, I mean, the, the, as, as this is very technical or, or something, so uh, as and when we go, go into the production and, and we do testing, uh, you will also repeat some of these points during that sessions? Every time, every time we are going to repeat this. We will correlate oh. with each and every, uh, uh, like we are going to do th three different steps here. One is as a consultant, we will work as a consultant in the same project this coming uh, six to seven months. We are going to do the consulting work. We are going to do end user work, clear and approval process also. So three different things we are going to do it integration and all those stuff. So each and everything we are going to correlate these steps with as once we do the consulting, nothing but uh, configuration, we are going to correlate with this. And once we are moving into cust uh, like uh, production, then we are going to correlate with this. Same at the integration testing, we will correlate to this. Okay, got it, got it. Thank you. Because as I said that uh, legacy system data, we will move legacy system data as i said that as a consulting functional consulting we use a tool called lsmw tool so we are going to see in depth of lsmw tool because one or two questions we can expect in interview regarding lsmw even that they follow a bdc process but they will ask lsmw knowledge is mandatory yeah any other questions from anyone No, nothing from my side now. Yeah, thanks all. Uh, this is uh, okay. We are almost all done this week, so we will see you on Monday. We'll see you on Monday with next uh, this one. So uh, realization phase we have completed. We have completed again. I'll give you the little literature on client server concept. So here we are going to see different other projects. Clear. Yeah. Oh, one more thing is, I mean, yesterday you said that you will be sharing the link for the for that. Did you share? I have uh, no... I'll share it in the group today. Two numbers okay. I'll give. Two numbers I'll give. One is Supriya, another one is Venkat. Supriya is charging uh, almost for fifteen hundred, but they are having a good customer support. And same okay. Venkat is also good. 
but sometimes they uh, server is little slow i'll provide in the group today those uh, two contact numbers okay thank you okay. thank you thank you all thank you have a nice day bye bye thank you same to you